Hey everybody, it's Yorigami here. And yeah, after a long time, I finally make a new tutorial. I'm very sorry for the um, uh, delay on um, not me making tutorials, but I was really busy with school and stuff and stuff like that. But hopefully I'm free now and I will be able to make a tutorial. And I need to have a routine now. Okay. I will, uh, I will be able to do tutorials on Friday and Sun Saturday, okay, because that's the time where my, because that's the days where my school is closed, okay, the weekends, okay, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to fold a flag of Japan, okay, where origami was born, okay, and this is a super cool model, I love, I love folding it, and uh, it's super simple actually, okay, and super fun also, and looks super cool. <laughs> and it was designed by Glada Harani. He um, he has an amazing website, a really amazing website about most uh, about origami books and stuff like that. Okay, um, um, it's like a whole origami library. It's amazing. Whenever I want to buy a new book, I always go to his website. I really recommend go going to his website. I will put a link in the, de the description below. Okay. And um, as for today, I'm, I'm going to teach the flag of Japan, okay, which is designed by Galaga Harani. And yeah, it's super simple. And let's start folding. Okay. So you're going to start with the circle side facing down. Okay. So um, the Japan flag has a circle that is red. Okay. And the red side will so the red side will be facing down since that's the circle side okay and uh one cool thing is that if you make it make it with a green and red paper you will be able to get a bangladesh flag, flag which is my country i folded one and i gave it to my teacher and he really liked it but uh since we're going to be folding the flag of japan i'm going to use white and red okay full circle 15 centimeter and um, so let's get started first fold the um, half folds so this one and this one okay and um, fold the diagonal that goes from the top oh sorry bottom left corner to the top right corner okay so like that unfold and make sure it's oriented that still that way so bottom left to top right and uh, holding in that position you want to make a line that starts from this point right here see this half point and it's going to end at this corner like that okay so it's something like this first you pinch the corner there and you pivot the paper until you hit the pinch mark see uh, it's like that as you can see maybe oh. come on focus see it um it hits this pinch mark yeah okay and um you could make a full crease but um it's better not to okay so i'm going to just pinch at where the diagonal crosses okay so here's the diagonal i'm going to pinch right where that crosses like so and i'm going to undo it and um the crossing point of these two folds is one out of third okay so here's the diagonal and here's the pinch mark the point where these two creases meet is one out of third. So you're going to make a line that goes through it. Like that. See? It goes through that pinch mark. See? I hope you can. And um, make sure that these edges line up with this. And this edge lines up with this. And crease. This is one out of her. Okay, you can guesstimate. 
just to make uh, to like that you know fiddling around with those okay but this is a quicker way but the fiddling around is a much more precise way. but both ways fine okay um, it's your choice and uh, now rotate the paper so that this is on top and then you take this edge pull it to this crease, um, crease we just made Like so, unfold, and you're going to rotate the paper 90 degrees, not 180, and see that point where one out of the third hits? Fold at that point again. Okay, so basically, we're making one out of third again. Hang here and match up these sides. Okay. Unfold, rotate the paper 180 degrees, and take this edge and fold it to this crease. Like so, and unfold. Okay, and hang on. Let me see the diagrams. Alright, and uh, I just made a mistake. Uh, these mount, uh, these uh, one out of third folds are supposed to be mountain folds, not valley folds. Okay, so you can just easily reverse them like that, like that. Here, these two are mountain folds. Rotate and transform these. Basically, they're genderless creases now, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so all these are mountain folds now. See? Okay, now we are going to take one of these mountain folds and bring it to the center line. So make, grab this mountain and bring it to the center line, just like that, making a pleat. See, it's like that, and crease. And you're going to rotate the paper 180 degrees and take this mountain and fold it to this edge. Like that. Okay. And unfold, unfold. Rotate the paper 45 to 90 degrees and take this mountain and bring it to the central line. Like, like so, and rotate, and repeat. Like that, and unfold. So you're going to have these creases. Okay, these are one out of twelve folds. Uh, you're going to have these folds if you divide the whole paper into twelve. But anyway, so uh, you have these new creases. Now let me quickly get a pen. Okay. Okay, so me got my pen, and uh, now we're going to make some free creases. Um, I'm going to zoom in on the diagram. And, um, okay, so how about I draw in these lines? Okay. So, it'll be easier. Mountains. More. Okay. I'm a sloppy drawer. Okay. And these are the values. More. And there we go. Okay. Um. Alright, so, oh, um, here is one as well. There. Huh, <laughs> these are sloppy drawings. <laughs> anyway, um, so here's the center line. I'm going to make a line, value fold, that stretches from this point to this point. So, 
Like that. And you do it on these two sides as well, making a square. Like that, okay? And we're going to make these. Okay, so here's the first. Like that, see? On these two points. Unfold. We take the paper. Like that, and this is the second one. And third one. Like that. And four. And last one. Four. Okay, and these are dolly creases. See? Alright, now we're going to make mountain creases. Okay, so um, here will be the mountain creases. See this square right here? Point to where the squeeze will make. Okay, just make a mountain. Okay. And do that on all these. Okay. Mountains will be darker, so let's drop that a few times. Just like that. And you can pinch them. That's the best way to do that. So, like that. Like that. Like it. And pinch. And these are the three pieces. Um, okay, these are all the previews actually. <laughs> and these are really important previews, so make sure you beat them precisely. Okay. So that's why I drew these. Okay. So now we're going to make a valley pool on this one. Like this. On the center one, basically. Now you're going to look from here and see this a square of mountains. See this square of mountains right here? You're going to push in that part like that. Okay. Making these square. Making the square. Like that. And to make it flatten, what you're going to do is first let's look from here. Make this crease as a mountain pole. Like that. Push this in. And here will be also the here it'll also be a mountain. So pinch. And this crease right here, this crease will be a valley. Pool. So just close it in and make a valley pool on this crease. Like that. Turn over and make a valley pool on this crease. Like that. There, it's actually fairly simple. So the result will be like this. See? It was like this. I push this in. Okay. Make this mountain and this mountain. And make this as a valley. Make this valley. This valley. And I do this. <laughs> and oh. We're currently making a sort of ISO area twist, but not exactly ISO area. Uh, well, it's a not so ISO area twist. <laughs> and um, so you're going to fold. Now you're going to fold this edge, this this edge on this edge. Okay. So fold it down like this. Simple as so, as that. And okay. Next, next step is turn over, okay. 
and you're going to take this wool flap, take it, and fold it up. Like that, right? Okay. Now here it's just simple with these edges going around. But turn over. <laughs> and you have this wool nice looking square. Okay. This is the rose twist, I think, if I remember correctly. Something like that. But yeah, this is a twist fold. Yeah. Okay. Um, alright, on to the next step. We're going to take this flap, fold it to the left. Like that, really for me. And you're going to open sink along this crease, okay? So it's like this. You sort of open this up. Okay, now open like that. And you're going to uh, make have these folds, right? Have these folds. You're going to make a mountain fold like that. See? And make a mountain fold along this line. You have a line like that. And this will be a mountain fold as well. So your model will look like this. Now to close it up, you're going to make a valley fold along this line, this, and this line. So just uh, do something like this. Pinch, keep pinching, and close it up like this, making these two valley folds. Okay, and try to um, close it back up as it was. So it was like this, okay. and fold it, fold this back to the left. So it was like this. All right, now let's close this up. But before closing it up, you're going to take this edge, this one edge, fold it up. Uh, remember this crease we made? You're going to make this crease at once like that and just do this there see it'll look something like that okay and you're going to carefully rotate the paper like that and repeat on this side okay so pull this open Make this mountain fold, these mountain folds, and this valley fold closed. And valley fold it closed, and these two, and uh, fold this like that. Fold this edge up, make a valley fold along here, and fold it back, making a new mountain fold along here. There, are two down, two to go. Rotate the paper carefully. Pull, sink, close, make that, whatever, rotate, one last time, there, and you will get this nice looking square, well cross, with, you know, it looks so nice, okay, and yeah, and, um, so that is the circle. Well, it's not a circle now, but it will be okay, of Japan. Okay. And make this because it's super sharp. And okay, now we're going to uh, hang on. see this line right here. See? I'm going to take this edge and fold it to this line. So it's like that. There. And unfold this. And you're going to reverse fold it. So just push this. Like that. And valley fold it here to close it back up. And remember, it's on the left side, okay? Not on the right side. On the left only. Like that. Don't do this on the right side. On the left only. Okay. But be sure. Okay. And I'm going to rotate the paper 180 degrees. Like that. <laughs> See, that was cool. 
180 degrees <laughs> and you're going to do the same thing once again on the left side okay not on the right side and do not repeat on these two sides Like that. Okay. All right. Now the um, we're almost done. Actually, this um, so as you can see, this was quite simple, except for the area twist sort of thingy and these uh, crosses. So we're going to um, be drawing this one. And make sure that these reverse folded points are pointing towards you and above, like that. And you're going to take this edge and fold it to the center line. Like that, just fold it to the center line. But hey, we don't have the circle. It's just going to be a white flag with nothing on it if we don't bring this out. But we are going to bring this out. How? Well, this is a tricky step. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This. Um, okay. Um, see this corner? Um, take this corner. See, take this corner. Okay. And um. Alright, um, so first we're going to start here. Um, hang on. First we're going to start here, right? What you're going to do is, you're just going to take this corner, one corner of the square, and, um, going, um, hang on a minute. This is quite tricky to explain. All right, so um, I, I'm going to make it easier for you. What you have to do is fold this flap down. Just don't crease, okay? Just fold it down. And you're going to take this corner. See this? Take this corner, fold this flap like that, and fold this. Fold this edge back down like that. And you're going to fold this. Oh, no, no keep it like that and you can to open this flap and fold this up and fold it back again okay now maybe this was quite tricky to fold so I'm going to show it to you on this side so rotate fold this edge to this center line okay and you're going to fold this edge down see just don't crease okay and take this take this square this corner fold it up like that fold this upward and fold this down back down again like that see and you're going to fold this corner up now and this will be quite tricky okay uh, since uh, this is quite locked but fold this up and fold this edge back up and lastly fold this down and there we go this is so this is a so clever fold <laughs> this is uh, very useful for many circles in a uh, square thingies um so if you're folding like a flag that has these sort of things this will be perfect but there we go um it's not exactly done yet what you're going to do is um, turn the paper over, okay, and fold these edges. Fold these edges. Doesn't really matter. It's up to you. It's completely up to you. Just uh, make sure it's not a square. And rotate and fold this edge up. 
completely up to you. Okay. And now let's turn the people over again. And see it's more flag like that right now, right? And you're going to uh, round the corners of this square to make it a circle. So fold this back. Fold this back. Like that. That's it. Fold this back. Like that. And last corner. Fold this back. Now you can leave it as an octagon. I like it that way. But if you want, you can round it a little bit more. But there we go. Here is the flag of Japan. Designed by Galada Haroni. So this is a super cool model. I love folding it. And I hope you fold, uh, enjoyed folding with me as well. And if you liked folding with me and liked this video, be sure to make give me a thumbs up on this video. And be sure to comment on this video if you liked it or not. What was bad about this video, what was good about this video, if you were able to fold it and anything. Please let me know in the comment section below. Share this video with your friends. Um, yeah, anyone. Share this video with your friends. And most importantly, subscribe to me. And so there it is, the flag of Japan. And one last thing you could do is uh, fold this, don't crease, and fold this behind, but don't crease. It creates a wave sort of thing. Yeah, this is really cool. Okay, but there, there you go, the flag of Japan. Okay, and I'll see you guys next time on the next tutorial. Bye!